right, I already can tell this is, might be a little messy, so let's bring in the messy mat. Which, man, my messy mat, I need to have like a messy mat for paint and a messy mat for hot glue because this has got hot glue all over it. It's a hot mess. Hey guys, it's time for another Smart Art box. Today's box, I'm thinking looks like inks. Chinese brush painting. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I've never tried this before. I played with inks, but yeah, let's take a peek. So inside there is a two and a half ounce Higgins black ink. I think this is the brand that I really like. There's one brand that's stinky. This is the non-stinky brand, our fun Smart Art sticker. I actually have a ton of these um, because they were on clearance at a local craft store, so I got them for like a dollar a piece, but they're so handy to have. Ooh, now, a while ago, I got another set of Spectrum Noir markers. Where are they? Yeah, in a previous box, I had gotten these Aqua Spectrum Noir markers, which turned out to be some of my favorite markers to play with. I had so much fun. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. Looks like this one has a brush nib to it. I like the color combo. Very deep, earthy kind of fall colors. Mm -hmm. So we have a super cute little bullet nib and the brush nib. Oh, I'm excited. So that's cool. These ones had a brush nib and I really enjoyed how they worked, so I'm excited to try the brush nibs out on these ones. This box candy is the strawberry flavored. Feels a little sticky. Mmm, delicious sticky. Then we have two brushes. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> it's gotta be so strong. So we have, ooh, they're very crunchy. We have a larger brush and a smaller brush. This looks so fun. I want to visit Japan so bad simply because they have the best stationery. Like this. I'm trying to remember if I have one like this. I don't think so. Ooh, it's nice, like that. And then we have some very soft, Fibrous paper. It's, it feels like like a tissue paper almost, but it's it's interesting because it's it's fibrous on this side but smooth on this side. I want to find out a little bit more about this paper. So the Masa is a versatile, affordable Japanese paper. It can be used in a wide range of art techniques, including sumi painting, watercolor, and printmaking. If like me, you have never done any Chinese brush painting, they give you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to get different techniques and styles, as well as a step-by-step -step project that you can create some cool art. We will practice first on this paper and just test and see how everything works before moving on to, you know, a finished piece. I wetted the brush down to get all of the kind of goo that they use to keep these brushes all protected while they're traveling. So you rinse that brush out and then it should be very soft and smooth. Now let's hope I don't get a ton of ink all over my fingers while I remove this. So you're supposed to hold the brush pretty vertical in your hands. Ooh, that is satisfying. Oh my goodness.
when I visited China, they have these amazing mountains. So beautiful, and I kind of wanted to capture those. Um, I had bought some artwork where artists had done that, so. And as always, a smart art box has outdone themselves. I have had so much fun working with these two pieces and literally only used the ink and one brush and just a little bit of these markers. I didn't even try out the smaller brush or this cool pen or really didn't get to even explore these yet. So there's so much more in this box for me to have fun with. I will also leave a link in the description box below where you can find out more information about Smart Art. They are a monthly art experience, not just, they don't just toss art supplies at you. They give you an awesome theme and a history lesson. This is a fun box and I think I'm going to keep creating. So until next time, thanks for hanging out with me. God bless you guys and we'll see you in the next art video. Bye-bye.